Hey, what's going on? It's Low for Low Nose back at you with another tech take. And today, my friends, we're taking a look at the Ecola keyboard stand with wrist rest and the Ecola keyboard storage rack. Now, Ecola did send this to me for review purposes. So in this video, we're gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna do a setup on my setup to see how it'll work for me in the foreseeable future, but most importantly, how this will work for you. So I'm gonna leave uh, descriptions in the link down. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm gonna leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own, but also discounts so you can get this at a really good price. All right, let's get straight to the unboxing. First, we're gonna start with the keyboard stand and wrist rest. Now this does a couple things. This advertises as far as adding more comfortability to your workflow. A lot of times when we're using desks like this, it can bring issues with your wrist and tightness of the wrist. So this aims to give you some nice comfortable angles so you can actually start avoiding that or getting away from that. At the same time, it offers a, as a, it doubles as a storage rack as well. You're gonna see all of that as we get further into the video, but here is our comfortable wrist rest right now, and we'll set that up. And here is our clear, and then you got instructions as well. And of course, you've got your clear keyboard stand acrylic rack as well. Now, as far as comfortability or the ergonomic design that it offers, you can do three different ways, as I mentioned before. You can have your base way here where you have the acrylic going down at the foot of the gel rack or the, the wrist rack. Okay, so that'll give you more of an incline. Then you can bring it up here. That's kind of like a level number two. It brings up the incline just a little bit more. And then you can turn this around There you go. And you have more of a, a parallel version right here going just like that. Now you can put different keyboards on this as well for different functionalities, different comfortabilities. You know, this is long and wide enough to hold various keyboards. You can see how long it is and how deep it is. So yeah, you can put different type of keyboards on this as well. What I also like, this also doubles as a storage rack at the same time. So my desk, it's not the most clearest desk. I've got a lot of things here. I've got some USB card readers. I've got a remote right here. You know, I've got, I've got, oh yeah, here's another light remote right here. So sometimes these things, they can just be cluttering my desk. With this wrist stand, I can just slide it under my, slide it under my keyboard or the wrist stand, and then there we go, I'm saving some space as well. I also like how the, it's actually clear, so it's not actually class, clashing with whatever kind of color scheme or design scheme that I have going on my setup. That actually works out pretty cool. Now, a lot of times, sometimes, depending on the keyboard that you have, it will develop dust over time, or maybe you got pets who just wanna walk all over your keyboard. This acts as a protector against your keyboard. So if you have one of those deep keyboards or you got pets that just wanna walk all over your keyboard, you can use this when you're not using it, and just kind of protect it just right there. And of course you can see you have a little slit here for wires to pass through as well, which is really cool. So as far as the actual keyboard stand, this, it was it's really simple. And I can tell you right now, you know, I, I think this is probably like my favorite setup right here. Yeah, probably setup number two. Just kind of put it right there. But I'm gonna check this out for see what future, but as I can tell you right now, this does feel like a difference uh, as of right now. Okay, let's move to the next one, the keyboard storage rack. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, when they sent this to me, I'm like, hey guys, you know, I don't have a lot of small miniature gaming keyboards to use this rack with. And they're like, hey, you know what? That's not a problem. You can use this as a storage rack. So I'm like, yeah, you know, you're right. I've got a recorder, I've got a screen, I've got several different remotes. I can use this as a storage rack. So let's get this set up right now. I'm gonna move this to the side. Bring this up and you'll see we've got screws and we've also got our instructions on well how to put this together. And I've got some 3M something right here. We'll see what that looks like, what that works at. So now as far as putting it together, you have three parts. The back part that holds the mouse and of course the two parts that hold the shelves and of course the screws in order to secure it. Just line up the top one with the top, put the th three screws, and of course, screw in the bottom one and secure that way, that way, and you're good to go. And to finish it off, you can put the non-slip pads that come with it. 
Okay, so here's the storage rack. I just have to figure out what I'm gonna put here, but I'm definitely gonna show you in the image right here of all the different things that you can putting it and the things that I put, probably uh, mouses, maybe some keyboards. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna put it right here in the corner, right beneath my monitor. It slips right under there just fine. And I think I'm probably gonna put mainly like USB uh, holders, uh, hard drives, and also remotes right there so I have easy access to it. I probably got like four remotes right here that I need to like put in a secure place. So. I'm gonna leave this right here and we will see in the end what ends up being the best solution for me as far as what do I need close to me. Okay guys, that's it. I really hope this video will help you out in making your decision. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick your own Yakola keyboard stand and wrist rest and Yakola storage rack. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other future videos. Guys, hit that like button if you like what's going on here. And also ding that notification so you can be notified for future videos as well. Hey, thanks again for stopping by and watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.